I want you to hit me square in the nuts when I say, yeah, I think I'll do water pools this year. You know, I'll get <laughs> And we're done here. It's the worst run event in CrossFit. Go ahead, everybody. Freak out. I'm not going to Miami. <laughs> <laughs> me and Sam start feeding a raccoon. and People flipped out about that, huh? But there's broken ankles everywhere. You are such a curmudgeon. It's insane. <laughs> it's pouring rain. <laughs> Waterpalooza is the best event, best run event in CrossFit. Waterpalooza. <laughs> All right. Snowy Wednesday in Tennessee. This is stuck around for a while, you know? It's been kind of weird a couple days here. Dude, super weird. It's been fun, but. I mean, it's been, uh, it was weird, first of all, because these guys were gone. So, so everything felt yeah, like abandoned. I think I text Scott and Ben and said, when you guys, because you, I don't think you were around much. Nobody yeah. was around. So it was like a ghost town there. I said, I think I'll just sell mayhem when these guys and you guys all decide, decide to like move on with your lives because <laughs> you'd be gone. It was really boring, else. you know. I yeah. didn't really have anything to do, nobody to hang out with. You know, usually middle of the day I'll go like hang in the media room or yeah. no check dead. out what's going on, and you know, there's just nothing going on. It was, it was, it was a ghost. It out. was hard. That's the first time I've not been. And sorry, Angelo, but I do not regret my decision whatsoever. Yeah, no, I, don't I just blame kept you. getting. Uh, Scott kept sending me videos. Um, usually it was like scanning the floor or the weather and then usually a middle finger. The whole point was I was <laughs> getting rained on. What should you be eating to reach your goals? The experts at RP Strength have it down to a science. Answer a few questions about your goals, activity level, and lifestyle, and the RP Diet app takes care of the rest. Get a year of nutrition help from RP Strength and RP Diet app for only eighty nine ninety nine at www.rp.app forward slash code forward slash froning. Two is one and one is none. The Airwave Mayhem Hybrid Pack gives you one HIIT mouthpiece and one endurance mouthpiece in our traditional Mayhem Blue, so you're covered no matter the sport. One innovative technology, two performance-driven designs. For podcast listeners only, get the Mayhem Hybrid Pack 15% off at www.airwave.com forward slash Froning. Middle finger. Because uh, he, he was hanging out with Bailey Page and <laughs> Oh Brooke. my gosh. So... Scott <laughs> took one for the team this week. We, yeah, I sent you the first middle finger because I'd been sitting in the rain <laughs> on Thursday night for like three and a half. Well, Frank was there too in his yeah. defense, like three and a half oh, hours. Oh, yeah, Frank's in most of them. Yeah, we got poured on that night. And because I didn't bring a raincoat because in my head. It's Miami. Well, no, no, no. I thought they <laughs> would delay like they did two years ago. Yeah, and you just would be sitting under and a canopy somewhere. Yeah, I thought I'd go to the hotel room, wait for the delay to pass. No, no, we just, we worked out in the rain, so I was soaked. What I love about Scott, though, is, you know, he'll just suffer in silence. You, you never know that he was unhappy while he was down there. <laughs> <laughs> just he was kidding. just uh, Scott's, Scott's, only Scott's, if, yeah, Scott's only if you're text messages were nuclear. Like, there wasn't one that came in that was like, hey, just a heads up, blah, blah. It was just like, hey, everything's <laughs> fucked. I'm going to burn this to the <laughs> ground. Um, yeah, that's fair. But I think, you know, you probably you probably still buffered it. I think, you're, I think you took it on chin. But the <laughs> content looked fantastic, so you, you, uh, you still pulled it out. Thank you. Well, you. You all still pulled all it did, yeah. yeah. Yeah, all four of us. Uh, but, but so I guess, um, what was the highlight, though? Did you have a highlight? My highlight? Yeah. Um, I mean, it has to be Emma won, so that was cool. That, yeah, was, that was cool. cool. It was the second straight year we had someone win because Paige won last year, Emma won this year. So I'll Angela take that. Angela said that's his highlight, too. Yeah, that's my highlight, too. That's fair. She did. She did do good. She was really happy afterwards. Hey. We uh, we went up to her and we're like, "Em, what are you gonna do with the money you bought? Go, you get a new rifle?" And she's like, "Yeah, I'll probably get a new rifle. That'd be nice. cool." I go, "You could probably buy a few." <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she was pumped. How well, old is she now? Twenty. It says nineteen on her Instagram. Oh. Nineteen. Okay. 19. Yeah, <clears> she's crazy. a youngster. That's man. so crazy. She's really blown up. Shut up. <laughs> I mean, still, it's so weird. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> yeah. That is it's crazy. crazy to me because, like, she's younger than my sister. And, like, when I was growing up, my sister's two and a half years younger than me, which isn't that much. But, like, growing up when you're in, like, grade she's school, you're like, oh, get her, get her and her stupid friends away from me because, like, they're just so young. Mm -hmm. yeah. And now, like, Paige is younger than my sister. Emma's way younger than my oh. sister. And, like, I don't even think about it now. It's just weird. Yeah. As you get older, age doesn't it really just, matter. It just kind of, like, yeah. yeah. All kinds of blends together a little. Yeah. Or you get, like, 
really old. And yeah, so, so for me, I'm like, <laughs> yeah. well, I mean, like, I guess like I should say like 10 years buffer yeah, either yeah, way, yeah. you know, like, yeah. Or, but what, what I mean by that is like, so you want to take Paige as an example, you're, she's close to your sister's age. For me, she's, she's closer daughter's. to my daughter's age yeah, than she is that's to my age, you know? Weird. I think that's what, yeah, that's, that's where you Yeah, that's when it's, it's time. Yeah. Yeah. When you're closer to the kid's age. Yeah. I mean, for me, it was like for years, I just think of myself as their age. And then when I sit back and think, and I'm like, what am I, 12 years older than you, 13 years older than you, something like that? Yeah, what are you going to be, 30? I'll be th- up 36 right now. 36, uh, and I'll be, well, hang on. So you're going to turn 37. Exact, I'll be yeah. turned 37. And I'm going to turn 25, so 12 years. 12 years. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's crazy. Yeah, that Basically crazy. a third of my life older than you. <laughs> Doesn't feel like it, though, you know what I mean? No, no. Just bros. Yeah, we still just get bros. together and just, like, shoot trucks with arrows. It's true. Yeah. yeah. Who knew that wasn't going to work? <laughs> Dude, I guess it'll be... We'll probably have that out sooner than this podcast episode, right? Yeah. Okay. Oh, cool. yeah. People flipped out about that. Oh, huh? it was great. I can't even find the video or the clip. Like, I don't have. Is it on Instagram oh. or on YouTube or? It's on it's the Rich Froning podcast Instagram. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. And it was like our most shared. Like, people really thought you Bro. meant. Well, here's what must happen is like, I guess Instagram must pick it up and throw it at like random other people that shoot bows and arrows yeah. and stuff, yeah. right? And yeah. so there was a million people that came at it. Like oh, we were talking about it before it was, there were some that were just like vehemently defending Joe Rogan. And they were like, ah, oh, you know, like screw you for talking bad about Joe or, you <laughs> know, you? or like, was it you, they were mad at you for talking about it. Yeah. Were you talking bad about Joe? No. What I like the whole clip starts with me saying that I was fake news. Oh, uh, you know, okay. I think they faked it. You know, like it wasn't real. Oh, uh, So you were calling into question. Joe Rogan's legitimacy. Yeah. Correct. I mean, hey. Correct. And then the other, the other, there was another sect of people completely who just obviously hate Ford F 150s. Rightfully so. Yeah, fair enough. And said that dude <laughs> is going to go through and it's going to tear the door off with it. I just exactly. love the, the, I love the fact that they based their promotions back in the day on military grade aluminum. When in the military, they take the lowest <laughs> bid. bid. Yes. You know, I've like, always <laughs> said that. Yeah. So anyway, continue. You don't want military but, grade nothing. No. Yeah, it's, the same thing for us. <laughs> it's the same true. thing. It's the same thing for the fire department. Because uh-huh. like, if you were to say, "Oh yeah, this is fire department grade or whatever metal," you're like, "That's going to be horrible." They like, take yeah. the lowest yeah. bid. They're like, "They're like, here, here's exactly. your bid," and you're like, "All right, what else can you take yeah. off of that thing?" Yeah, I remember we got like a stripped down used truck one yeah. time. Yeah, I was there. Yeah, just because the rescue, the old exactly. rescue, or not the second old rescue. You guys called it the old rescue. Oh, yeah. I rode on the old old rescue <laughs> with the outside cab. No, it had an inside. The back seat was outside. It was a, it was a separate, no. Oh, it was a separated oh. cab. It was, in, it was called the doghouse. Yeah. Because you're in the back. And it was a 1980 80 something. Mac. Mac. Mac, yeah. And that thing would haul. Yeah. But you, were, you weren't with the guys in the yep. front seats. You were by yourself in the back. And just like, it, in the summer, dude, it was a sauna. Yeah. And you're just breathing in diesel fumes. <laughs> well, because, and then ladder four <laughs> was outside, the LaFrance. Oh, yeah. You were outside. And then in the, the back. old reserves were a legit max open cab. I only rode on those two or three times. <laughs> and in the winter, dude, you'd just, to go ride around town, on. you'd put your gear on. <laughs> this is for the fire department. Yeah. 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 Cookville's, Cookville's finest. It's a lot yeah. better now, but at yeah, the time, it was, it was not. But it yeah, was very I remember I remember when Ladder 4 was there, and I was, well, I think we still have it, but like just seeing it. And you're ladder like, 4, ladder dude, 4, we had to imagine? climb it every day at fire school. 100, 100 foot, 100 foot. 1974 Steel. American La France. And you'd get up there, and it would just, like, you're just sitting there, and it's <laughs> depending on the wind. You're 100 feet in the air, and this thing's just... And that was just a drill. Just, like, go up there and hang out. Just come making back sure down. guys weren't... Yeah. And you'd have to watch guys just freeze about halfway. And for me, it was... Yeah. Like, like yeah. that doesn't hurt me, but it was fun. Sorry. We, we, go ahead. No, that's fine. Have we, we ever talk about the, the time that... I forget what it was in conjunction with, but, like, when Castro took everybody to... Um, one of the Bud's training courses. Oh, yeah, and Kalipa froze, froze up, up on top. I don't know. Yeah. Yeah, he froze on the net, the cargo net, right? It was yeah. like oh, 50 really? feet in the air or something I like mean, that. I mean, at least. It was tall. Yeah, when I went the next year, <laughs> they wouldn't let people go over the top. They let them go halfway up and then uh, around. And I was like, no, nah, I'm going up. I'm going up, yeah. yeah. And Andy Stump was sitting on the top, and it was just like the most gentle, understanding, like coaching version of Andy that you've ever seen. Yeah. But then when Kalipa got stuck, he was just berating him. <laughs> he was just sitting there like in a nice, <laughs> calm voice, but just like, you're a coward. This is the worst thing I've ever seen. <laughs> <laughs> so good. <laughs> just whispering at him. So anyways, yeah, we, uh, oh yeah, so there was F-150 haters, there was Joe Rogan protectors, there were people that just couldn't believe how idiotic I was. 
Because it was like ruining your truck or that you said that it wouldn't. I think that a lot of them were like you, archery fanatics and they were like, oh, you're an idiot. Some of them were great comments. You know some of them how were serious like, these broadheads are. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> First world problems, you know. Some people were like, uh, one dude was like, uh, can you imagine being this confident and this wrong at the same time. <laughs> <laughs> was, that was pretty good. Touche. But uh, yeah, anyway, so uh, we cheated a little bit. We put We put a target inside truck yeah because it would have blasted through both doors clearly at this point like and i actually i will be honest i thought that it would at least slow it down or it would hit something but like that thing was going it would have gone and hit a buffalo if we hadn't stopped it like <laughs> probably yeah. actually <laughs> yeah it was right in there. the target of probably yeah. six inches i bet good so. amount. <laughs> but anyways good fun stuff and now at the coldest time of year i get to put duct tape over my door and just uh, cart, you won't even know cart my kids around you know Bang. well no Whichever but kids on that honestly, side will let me know. You wouldn't even have to, like, I think we could just bond over the door. Yeah, you're probably right. You we probably just need it. The biggest we thing is it, the internal components. We like, could bond it, it, sand it down, and you wouldn't even know, yeah. honestly, and paint it. Then yeah. we don't have to get a whole new door. All right. I think the biggest thing is just the master plan. hammer was. down the, the metal, the little shards of metal. We could do that. that. Yes. 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 <laughs> Slice your Lego. It's sharp. I touched but it. But speaking of hammering, uh, the whole master plan was I was going to win the truck on Kim Haynes' giveaway. Oh. And, uh, lost, huh? Well, I don't know. I think they're going to do it in a day or so. So I haven't even entered All that. hope is not lost. That? You got to buy, like, tickets for it or whatever. Yeah. Is it you have to buy something on the website, and then you get tickets just by buying stuff on the website, right? It's like a raffle. You yeah, specifically okay. enter oh, into okay. it, you know? Because I've done, I've been on, like, I've done some of those giveaways where, like, you just have to go on there and buy something off a website, and they enter you in the drawing. I was like, I'm going to buy something anyway, so I'm just going to buy it and yeah. see if I can win. Yeah, it's a weird deal. It's like <clears throat> the same as our potential Leadville thing. Like, yeah. if you just do a lottery, you actually are in this. You're, you're subject to the same rules as um, like gambling, basically. Oh okay. wow! So you have to attach it to like some sort of product. But I think yeah, for, okay. for cams, yeah. like, I just bought the tickets and and a bunch of like bra- like hammer, keep hammering bracelets and stuff like that showed up in my house. But nice. So it's attached to something, but it's really just just a straight giveaway. Just to get in. It's cool, and it's ten thousand dollars to offset the taxes, right? That's right. Yeah, I'm stoked, man. I'll drive you around. You just have to offset the taxes. That's he, it. He, no, no. He gives you ten grand. Oh, to yeah. offset the ta- offset the taxes on top of it. That's he's like, because cool. yeah, I remember that was like in one of the first commercials they were talking about. He's like, and I'm gonna throw in some money, so so like you basically get you totally get a free truck. What about the ten grand that you have to pay taxes on? Yeah, it doesn't. That doesn't quite. <laughs> <laughs> that doesn't quite I wonder how that doesn't works. Not, I mean, that's a serious yeah. question. I don't know how that works. Yeah, they'll get know. you somehow. The government's gonna get the oh, piece. Oh yeah, I've been teaching my kids about. Um, tyrannical government. Uh, no, just the different <laughs> forms of government. You know, yeah. so like, I thought this was a, this is a pretty proud dad moment actually. Back at Halloween, um, I'm like Lakeland, kids, let's let's learn. Uh, usually the dad tax. Oh, yeah. You guys know the rich tax. Usually take first bite of anything. Twenty percent comes to me, or ten percent, whatever. <laughs> um, hungry you are. But I took all of their candy. And I'm like Lakeland, let's teach you about socialism. She's like, what's socialism? I might have said communism, same thing. Same thing. Um, <laughs> everybody freak out. But so I take all three bags, dump them in a pile, and I'm like, here you go. You get this piece. Here you go. You get this. You get this. Lake, Lakeland goes, communism sucks. <laughs> I was like, but you got to put it in terms like that. And no, I, well, that I gave them, like, I gave them each their 20 percent ish, and yeah, then yeah. I took the 40 and threw Well, the you trash. give, well, you like, Lakeland, you went to the most houses. You saw that you trick or treated yeah. the most. Here's your share. And, it's and equal. then. And it's the same. And then you give Trice the same. Yep. And then you give Violet the same. That's what it's like, wait, what the heck? Yep. You're like, yeah, you did really good. Trice, you no, were kind of lazy tonight. And Violet, you did good too. And then they're like, well, I got the but same you, thing. You actually <laughs> had to arbitrarily set one of them aside as like a better class of, of yeah, people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like no, that was get, mine. Yeah. That was oh, mine. Oh. I take that piece. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It was like, the I, got, gets I it. got 40. Yeah. And then they each got their 20. Okay. But so yeah, 60. It would have been even better if you picked one of them. You're like, actually, you get you, you get, get a little bit you more. You get a 10% yeah, you're more, you know. <laughs> aristocracy. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. And you actually. You're, uh, you, what's the. Uh, oh, man. What was the name they were throwing around back when all that was going on with Russia? The. The, like oligarch? Aristot- oligarch. Yeah, uh, oligarchs, yeah. yeah. This is oligarchs. Here you go. <laughs> we uh, speaking of government. Go ahead, everybody. Freak out. We watched Inglorious Bastards last oh, night. Oh, so that's good. Man. So I good. wish Brad Pitt. It just the whole movie was Brad Pitt. <laughs> yeah, the, it was so good. His parts in that are so <laughs> incredible. Hilarious. Oh man, you're fighting in a basement. <laughs> yeah. The, we how many times in Italy did we were just like yes. Gorlami, <laughs> Go- Arriva <Derchi>. Gorlami. <laughs> Yeah. You say that again. Gorlami. Gorlami. 
I don't speak any Italian. Uh, that's why you speak the third most. <laughs> yeah. You keep your mouth shut. Have you start Dominic practicing Dominic DeCoco. Now. Say it again. Dominic DeCoco. Uh, so. And he, he starts doing this, too. <laughs> oh, dang. i got to rewatch that now. Oh, it's, too violent. To it's too violent for the kids, right? Oh, like, they're not quite there yet? Oh, okay. Your kids are probably old enough now. Yeah. Gus, for sure. I remember being, like, over the top. There's a the part scalping where they, parts. They, the scalping yeah, parts, yeah. and then they bash the baseball, him in the, the head baseball bat with a yeah. baseball bat. Yeah, bash him in the head with a baseball bat. He goes, I got a guy who's a court martial for this. <laughs> nah, probably just chewed out. I've been chewed, I've been out, chewed out before. <laughs> I'll take that deal. You take that deal, and he's scalping. He goes, I take that I deal. I take that deal. <laughs> it's so good, man. Oh. Uh, <laughs> Such an underrated movie. You, you know, got a German out here that wants to die for country. You come help him out with that. Is it underrated, though? I, I don't know. I feel like it's a very yeah, highly true. rated movie. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> it's it's top ten for me. It's top yeah. ten time. by yeah. far. Yeah, <laughs> by far. Oh man, that makes me want to watch it. We need to watch that tomorrow on the it's way. Hilarious. That's so Probably good. just chewed out. I've been chewed out before. <laughs> on the way to oh, you guys are Ohio. You're road tripping. We're road tripping tomorrow. Yep. Yeah, dude. Oh man, how was that in the cold? Like it's probably about didn't the same rain. as here. Which yeah, it's almost identical to what it is. But right? I mean, like, have you ever hunted in this? This cold of a weather. No, but apparently it's in ground blinds, so I've never even really I've kind of done that. The wind, and not having the wind on you a little bit will help. Helps I don't know long. what kind of ground blinds we're hunting out of, so That's I don't true. know. Like, I don't know if the redneck blinds or Have if you seen those 270 degree ones that the entire thing is mesh where you yeah. can see everything? I, I just don't, I don't know how. You, you can, sh- it says you can shoot through them. What? Some of them, ha- they have windows, obviously. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you can just shoot through the mesh? I just don't. I, I would think you that. could shoot through the mesh on all, any of them, but why would you? Why, why would you, you want to yeah. ruin them? It's true. Um, yeah, I've seen those too. I thought they were um, cool. I mean, rhino, they're it's called like rhino one way, blinds. Yeah, it's like one way mesh. It's like the mesh on the outside is camo, and then you get in there, and it just looks like you can see through it. Oh, that's cool. It's pretty cool. But I can't. I just can't picture shooting how through that works. It. So like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know how it works. <laughs> I mean, I mean, we saw how. I mean, I guess you could. We you saw how could easily an arrow. Yeah, yeah. It's easily an arrow went through yeah. a uh, truck. So. <laughs> oh, your broadhead's good. I tested it. Like it's still razor sharp. You oh, for still, real? Oh, yeah. You can okay. still hunt with it for sure. Okay. There's like... <laughs> but the arrow, the fletchings got... The fletchings got The arrow's yeah. messed up. Yeah. But the... Um, the arrow's messed the, up? Or just the fletchings? Oh, the, just, I re- guess just the fletchings. Yeah, yeah you can change it. the fletchings. Yeah. Um, one of the blades on that is dented, but they have replacement blades. You can replace that blade. The, whole, the other two blades, perfectly fine. Okay. I, like, I just like cut some <clears> paper with it, and it was like sliced right through. Is that, are like you guys water. on bows this weekend? Yep. Okay. Yeah. And like, so, so how many broadheads would you have like in your quiver? I have three right now. I have four, but hopefully we'll probably but only you're need unlikely one. to get that many shots. Like most likely, gonna... I think we're I think we're pretty much. They have one buck tag. I don't know if we're shooting does at all. I don't know Ohio's rules on does or or I don't know this guy's on his land. His I don't rules. Know his rules on shooting does or not, and I don't know what their doe season is there. Um, so I'm pretty sure we're all going to shoot one buck. That's kind of the idea, and um, yeah, I think at most you would need two arrows, like. Shoot one, and then if, if you, you don't could, have a good kill, yeah. yeah. And then the, the yeah the the goal obviously if the if even if you have a good shot, you know sometimes they don't react; they just react weird, and they'll run ten yards. They'll kind of look around like what just happened, and if they do that, you try to knock another one, and still shoot them again because it'll give them a quicker death. Got it. So two is pr- probably all you need, but it's always good to have more. We were having this discussion on our <laughs> text thread, like the the guys <laughs> like oh, I've got two hundred and fifty class whitetails, and I'm like. Oh. Awesome. I know what that means, but I have no idea what that means. Yeah, you know, wait, 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 like, I don't know that? what it looks like. It's 150 inch, but in my head, <clears throat> you know, the deer that I killed here, the buck that I killed, we were talking probably an 80, 80 to 100 range. Yeah, somewhere in there. And I'm like, I thought that was a decent buck. It is oh, for yeah. here, oh, but yeah. I'm like, I don't that's need. The, and that's like an overall measurement. It's not it's, like size. They measure the, so it's, the height, the width, the yeah. all okay. kind of stuff. Okay. So. The, the, in in short, it's basically 150 is a really good deer. Yeah, 150 okay. is really good deer. That's what I shot this year, and that's like. And Brian and Bird both had. They both told me they've never shot a deer as big as I shot this year with a bow. Mm. So they've shot deer maybe with a gun that big, Rifle. but with a with a bow that's bigger than both of them have shot. And they've been bow hunting for a long time. Yeah. So that's like 150 inches. Part of that big with deer. Brian was a crossbow, but still. <laughs> <laughs> Still technically a bow. No, he'll get mad. He doesn't crossbow hunt. He was getting like when we were at when we were in Illinois. Me and Bird were making fun of him. Like, dude, you're old. You're gonna have to shoot a crossbow soon. He goes, I'll quit bow hunting if I have to shoot a crossbow. He was like, he was getting fired up. I was <laughs> making fun of him, saying he's gonna shoot a crossbow. I don't have a problem with crossbows. I have a problem with crossbows <laughs> in body in archery season. Yeah, yeah. there's no problem. way around it though. 
you can't. There's no way around it because yeah, it's the, the only same. way around it would be is it's the same mechanism. Yeah, the only way around it would be if and no one wants this is if the uh, like the wildlife agents could go out onto your private land, which a lot of places they can do. The only way you could stop it is they would have to come to your tree stand and see you with a crossbow and say, "Hey, you can't hunt with that. Get down. I'm gonna write you a fine and take your weapon because the wound looks the same." Mm. Uh, everything's all the same. Like the broadhead's the same, the arrow's the same. Like you bring it to a processor, you bring it, you drive your truck past a, a wildlife agent and they see it and you don't have the, you don't have the crossbow with you. They're shorter they'll arrows, get it. but still. They are, but you, but at the wound, you would never know a difference. Yeah, no. So yeah, there's no way. I think it's just easier for them to not, it's less work for them to just say, hey, you can hold the crossbow. Yeah, that makes sense. Well, yeah, and the TWRA <laughs> here can't go on your land now. Yeah. So. <clears throat> and I, I and I don't mind it in I don't even mind it in bow season for people who need it. Yeah, no, I like because like yeah, if you have some type of yeah physical limitation, absolutely. But oh, well, I'm not willing to die on that hill. No, no, I don't care that much. But just don't hunt the deer that I'm hunting with one. <laughs> <laughs> you can hunt whatever deer you want with them. Just don't hunt the same deer. Just as me. stay away. Yeah, they do. They look really fun. If I'm being honest. Oh yeah, I bet that I've, I've shot, shot one, one once. They're um. They are fun to shoot. Like they're yeah. they're just fun because it's like it's like shooting a gun, but you could shoot it inside. There's you know, no recoil. You know, right? No recoil, no nothing. It's just like it's a pretty cool thing to shoot. Um, it'd be shoot. It'd be fun to shoot. Like it'd be fun. Like I won't say it. <laughs> <laughs> I won't say it. Why? Don't hold back. It'd be fun to shoot it at a person. I oh think. god. <laughs> 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 okay, and we're done I'm just here. Saying, okay, in context, I mean, like, it'd be. Cool. I retract my previous statement. <laughs> in context, I thought that was going. <laughs> me either. Me, I thought it was. In may, context, maybe. I think it'd be cool, like, if you could, if you were. I mean, I'm thinking of like, I'm thinking of like Hawkeye. Like Hawkeye shoots a bow, and he's like, and he's like a superhero. It'd be cool if you were like. Yeah, um, in like, the context of fighting crime, in the context of like yeah, home defense, yeah, <laughs> yeah home defense, <laughs> yeah, yeah, you got it. Never mind, I'm, gonna, I'm not going to go there. Um, like um, in the in the context of like war, I, I don't guess. know how we're going to make this. What? I don't know how we're going to clean this up. Like in the context up. of war, you're like imagine I don't imagine know we're all just up. like we're no, all. No, this is fair. This is fair. Like, what weapon would you choose if you were like not a crossbow? No, I know, but like we're all in the military, whatever, and we're no? all and we're all going out for a mission. Like you guys, maybe our our, our platoons are going together, and you know, we've never met each other. And I walk in, I got a crossbow, and you're like, "Was that that guy shoot a crossbow?" You're like, "Yeah, he's just that's what he does. He shoots a crossbow." And they're like, "Is it what is it present? That's is the it worst present yeah, no, sorry, <laughs> you, you lost me. One, you're you like, got one arrow. I know, but you're like, you're like, yeah, he's got a hundred hundred confirmed kills. There, you're like." Wow, yeah, and the guy ass. over there has a musket. What are we talking about? <laughs> I, I prefer to have a suppressed AR if I'm in. I don't know, dude. I mean, but think about it. Think about how cool it'd be. You'd be like, yeah, that guy. Yeah, that guy over there. No, he's like, all I can think of is literally like cool to be Monty alive. Python and the Holy Grail, where those the the Frenchmen are sitting at the top of the castle with their metal hat and a crossbow. That's all I can think of right now. I can see Angelo with his stupid mustache, his little metal hat, and his crossbow. <laughs> Uh, Would you like to join us on our quest for the grill? No, no, we are. <laughs> we already have one. <laughs> I told him we already got one. Go away, stupid British pig dog. <laughs> All right, moving on. It's not. I th- see. I thought you were gonna say like back a in the day, back in the bird day. Bird oh, yeah. I mean, one I, pound I, I mean, then it yeah. would be. Then I get it. Like I've I've used no, one. Like, in if Call you rolled Duty, up and we were like, cool. you know. <laughs> Call Modern Duty. Warfare. All right, I'm out. Yeah, okay. Right. <laughs> okay, th- and you play Gun Game. I don't know if you ever played the, you ever played the Call of Duty, you played Gun Game on there. So, Dude, like, um, so you start with a crappy gun, and then if you, there's like 20 oh, okay. people, you Indeed. start with a crappy gun when you, so like, I kill so like a pistol. It's like Goldeneye. How's that, how's that work? Basically, same thing. You just keep taking other people's stuff. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh. I kill you with a pistol, oh, yeah, and then I get a better pistol. I kill you with a better pistol, or I kill a different person. When you die, you're out of the game. Darren's mom used to make us play Goldeneye with. On yeah. paintball mode. <laughs> so you didn't see any dead bodies? Was it killing? I didn't even know it existed. It does, but they still, like, you know, huh. when you, you know when you get shot, the blood, like, comes yeah, over yeah, the yeah. screen? You still still happens. <laughs> <laughs> like, it wasn't paint? No, it was paint. <laughs> or it wasn't yeah, paint, paint, it was blood, so. Who oh, knew a paintball funny. could kill you? Um, All right. Hey, how about your turn. boys, man? How about your fashion statement right here? A fashion statement? I, I was... Like I was. You've been watching the games or no? Hell yeah! With I, I, w- I was Ash. not going to say anything to you until the very, very end. But at the like, they almost blew it. Oh, and no, I was they like, almost blew it. I thought it was going to be a Stafford moment to where like, they just had such a. They had a great buffer. They had a great halftime first half, and yeah. they had a very 
Oh man, soft second half, and then our secondary is the weak point on our team. Yeah. And Matt Stafford has the ball back with six minutes to go, I think. And <clears throat> I thought and it was going to happen. Like I'm just the first like half, they're just bumping up this storyline. They're like, hasn't happened yet. What thirty years? Yeah, thirty, 30 yeah, almost 30 40. Years, thirty years. They're like, oh, and this hometown crowd. And they kept to get putting their first win. They kept putting uh, <laughs> since their last playoff win or something like that. Yeah, and it should have said since their only playoff win. Yeah, right. My They've gosh. won one playoff game before this weekend in the Super Bowl era. Isn't they kept wild. putting one oh they kept putting gosh. their last playoff win. I'm like, it was the only <laughs> playoff win. Like <laughs> tell the whole story. Oh my gosh. There That's w- the only game I didn't watch actually. Oh, oh, man. It was oh, good, I, oh, oh it was so was tense before. because you were like, dude, if they blow this, like, like someone in the, well then these people could somebody's gonna commit suicide. And like, then was, <laughs> people were so <laughs> invested uh, and they were so fired oh, up. Oh me and Adam, like it was nice finally to have like my cousin Adam was here. So like somebody that kind of got it, me and him were yeah. yelling up and down and high fiving and then we're both like super stressed and everybody's just watching us like these fools. <laughs> yeah. And then like Pfeiffer, Matt's <laughs> daughter, yeah, um, is talking to my mom. They were like coloring at the table and she goes, What's wrong with Uncle Rich? Mom's like, he's just stressed. And she's like, what's stressed? Because we were, I mean, up, down, yelling, cussing, all that stuff. It. And then uh, it comes down to that third down. And then they get a hold on Aiden, Aiden Hutchinson. And so they, I'm like, just let them kick the field goal. Like, give the offense some time. And they, they take the penalty to back them up 14 yards. And then, thank God, they didn't call that. Uh, I mean, it was a pass. It was. Yeah. It was a pass interference by Cameron Sutton. <laughs> and you're just. I mean, usually that stuff does not happen for us. I oh, mean, yeah. you see what take two weeks ago in Dallas, What that's usually what happens to us with that complete debacle, and everybody's going to say, well, it was. I've had <clears> – <throat> I got very voice boisterous on Twitter Did on you? that so, game, yeah. and then also in this game, some guys like, it was still uh, illegal formation. I'm like, no, it's not, because Dan Skipper did not report. And, and here's the deal with even that whole deal was like, what happened was Dan Skipper's reporting, Dan Skipper's reporting. Brad Allen sees Bre- uh, Dan Skipper – and then he doesn't, he just thinks Skipper's going to report. And then Decker, he doesn't hear Decker. All you got to do is come out and say, hey, we screwed up. And I'm fine. I agree. Like, and I'm not even, look, I'm not a big Detroit fan. Like, uh, but it was clear that, like, they looked at him and <laughs> they almost gave him, like, a thumbs up or something, right? Brad, like, Brad Allen just, he just, uh, he got, he made, a, he made a mistake. Yeah. Own up to the freaking mistake. Don't just say, oh, well, you know, like, no. The part of the play was all week was to, like, confuse him by having Skipper go up there. Yeah. And everybody's like, well, the, over the loudspeaker, they they reported that Dan Skipper reported. And I'm like, you think the players hear what's going on in the loudspeaker? Exactly. Yeah. Come on. Or you think he's going to be like, hey, guys, time out. Yeah. I'm the one that reported. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Like, that's going to happen. So, um, but, yeah, I mean, I'm going this weekend, so. Are you? Oh, yeah. hell yeah. Yeah, yeah Travis great. Purdy. Uh, comes to train with Rich a lot. Yeah, yeah. And got married at Mayhem. Hawaii, Travis. Yep. Yeah. He's got season tickets. And so that's he right. gave Darren the last two weeks, I think. And so me and Darren are going this week. I'm oh, fired up. Cool. I think Foster's going too because he's a Bucks fan. He's that going with good. you guys? Yeah. Oh, nice. Yeah. So I don't know. We'll see. I'm, I mean, we played him earlier in the season, but you never know what's going to happen in the playoffs. And they win? They, yeah, won 20 to 6, but it's playoffs. It's yeah, anything, yeah, yeah. you know, like Different Baker's team. hot right now. He is. Um, but I, mean, I don't know. Lines I mean, are good right now. So it's they did cool. good. The Cinderella story of all Cinderella stories. It really like would. A, yeah. I mean, what was cool Long too was like, making. you could see that storyline freaking happening though with Stafford coming back to Detroit. First time back. Um, golf played great though. Didn't do anything, you know, did what he needed to do. It would have, like I said, another touchdown in the second half would have been real nice. Um, but man, I'm telling you when you, when Stafford got that ball with six minutes to go, yeah. As a Lions fan, you're just your heart is <laughs> oh, like, yeah. oh man, this is like the whole time everybody's like, Yeah, you guys got Stafford, but I don't think it'd be a problem. I'm like, he gets in that building, I guarantee there's gonna be some extra, yeah. you know, yeah. motivation. And then what a baby at the end of the game saying uh, they were like, Well, how do you feel for the city of Detroit? And you don't have to come out and say I'm happy. He's like, I'm happy for the players. And then just like moved on. You're like, You think you're gonna get a standing ovation <laughs> in Detroit? Like yeah. yeah, you know, like I get that maybe give him like a little like, hey, good job to start, and then once the game starts, light light him up. Like, yeah. you know. Yeah. So. <laughs> they I booed just, him right when he came in. Apparently, right? yeah. Yeah. That's what I heard. And then his wife was like, They booed my daughters, and then she I guess clarified later saying they realized they were booing him, but their daughters thought that they were booing them. They started crying, which sucks, but <laughs> yeah, you know. Well, he sports. It's a hard I don't think sports, man. I don't yeah. think it's out of the question for him to say he's happy for the city. He played there for what, ten years or twelve what? years? Yeah. yeah, twelve years. Yeah, yeah. And so. he blew a bunch of playoff games <laughs> while he was there, so he deserved to get booed. <laughs> yeah, I'm not even a Lions fan, well, but I'll Scott's say not a Lions fan, even though he's from Michigan, which I'm very disappointed. Also, think about the uh, talking about Cowboys and wrong calls. 
Remember that playoff game? Yes, I do, Scott. Very. Was it 2017 or 16? The pass interference, and then Des Bryant comes out on the field to argue without his helmet, which is also illegal. They pick up the flag, and then they don't give Des a personal foul for coming onto the field to argue. And then the next week, <clears throat> Des got screwed on that catch in Green Bay, and they lost. So it was all well, okay. Don't lie. But still, <laughs> gosh, I hate Dallas. Sorry, Dallas. Not them Cowboys. Would we? Would you rather have seen Green Bay win or Dallas? I don't know, game? man. Green Bay, J- Jordan Love's looking good right now. But I did really want Dallas to lose badly. Yeah, I think everyone in the country did. <laughs> I just, Jordan Love looks like he's pretty good. So I'm fired up, though. We'll see. You know, I think if they can handle the Bucks this weekend, I mean, San Francisco's really good. But anything yeah. can happen in the playoffs. So uh, I think if the they go to the Super Bowl, I am going. I think the, the biggest story. Uh, to me, is the Eagles, dude. They're just drop off. Yeah, what were they? They were so good. They had Six one or two or losses. Ten and one or yeah, something like that? Ten yeah, and ten and one. one. They've lost every game since then or, yeah. or almost every game since then. That like, was, holy crap. That bad. Like, Where is the Super Bowl this year? Vegas. That would be fun. Ugh, it's terrible. <laughs> I can't think of a worse city to go to. Yeah, I don't love Vegas. <laughs> but well, they, just, they do it. big events like that. Yeah. yeah. Well, you know, that's well. they do. Yeah. Yeah, so we'll see. Um, I mean, did you see that? Did you see any of the highlight stuff about the Chiefs game? Did you see Mahomes' helmet just basically the paint just blow up off of it? And then somebody showed me they took a water bottle out of the fridge in the stadium, and when they pulled it out, it, like, immediately started freezing. Oh, wow. It was impressive. It was oh, cool. my gosh. You saw it happen in Buffalo. Well, yeah, uh, the snow drifts. They, the snow, they where they moved the game they to they they moved the game to Monday. But they offered anyone twenty dollars an hour to shovel. Really? The and they still couldn't clear it. it in time, so that's why they delayed. And then the fans they got the field clear, but there was still a bunch of snow in the bleach like in the crowd. And I think that they didn't have assigned seating because you couldn't Yeah, no. So you just walked in and whatever seat you could find, that's you where sat. you sat. It was the first it was like the first time in modern NFL history of where you could just sit wherever you wanted to sit. Heck yeah. Because I saw a you video just got there and shoveled it and sat. You know how the Buffalo fans they jump on the table yeah so i saw a video where they were putting like gas or oil or whatever is like uh will light and just stay on the surface they lit a table on fire and they were jumping off snow drifts onto the table <laughs> <laughs> they're crazy yeah buffalo fans are crazy yeah i heard the lions they said there were people there an hour before kickoff like oh, a wow, college yeah. game you know where you just show <laughs> up and they said it was just like loud darren said it was one of the coolest things he's ever been oh, a part yeah. of I bet the city was pretty on fire. Oh, yeah. Too. Heck, yeah. Oh, I'm sure. Well, they said, I, I was reading an article today, them extending one week into the playoffs at home brings another $20 million to the city of Detroit, which is what? insane. That's crazy. Crazy. So, yeah, I mean, I'm looking forward to it. It's, I mean, I'm a huge Lions fan, always have been, and I've never been to a home Lions game. I've been to the Titans a couple times. Um, Lions, Titans, Lions, but I've never been. So, looking forward to it. I've seen them play the Bucks before oh. yeah, at Ford Field. At Ford Field? Yeah. Two oh, yeah, very different you, teams. That's not when you got Kitna's address or uh, signature, was it? No, that was uh, – I got Kitna's signature at an Arena Football League game. That's what it, it was. It was the Grand Rapids Griffins, I think they were – no, that was hockey. What was the Arena Football League team? It was the Grand Rapids Arena Football – Somebody will tell you. I the Rapids, the maybe, or the Rush. I don't remember what they were, mm-hmm. but, yeah, John Kitna was there. I got his autograph. John Kitna. No, I think uh, I th- the Bucks game was, I think, when I brought the Monty Teo sign. Oh, wow. Because I have a Monty Teo signed autograph. The The Lions were really good that year. <clears throat> and you know how Lions fans, they yeah. lose. It was like 4-1 and one or 5-1, and one, and I knew they were going to collapse. And so I brought uh, Monty Teo. It was right after all that happened. I said oh, they're yeah, bigger said pretenders than Monty Teo. And uh, they took my sign before I could get into the game with it. <laughs> Scott. <laughs> Um, I would, so we circle on all the way back. We kind of started, we don't, we only scratched the surface. So I'd love to hear a little bit more about your water blues experience. So <clears throat> before, before, in, be, before we get into yours personally, uh, mayhem athlete cleaned up. Yep. So Emma Carey, we already mentioned top of her class. We had, uh, Roman and Jorge and Saxon, Saxon, um, to what took the second place, second, second place. place. Um, and then almost like almost every single division, well, even uh, I'm not gonna read like every single one even off, individual, uh, Sam finished sixth. Where did Roman, Roman, Roman seventh or eighth? Roman, Roman and Gee were top ten. Gee, and then I mean Jack was doing great for a Jack, little while. Yeah, Jack was. He said the last day was harder for him. Hatfield did well for a long time. Yeah, Hatfield did really well. I saw that. Yeah, <clears throat> I'll do. Uh, 
uh, Max Krieg, third place, is in, is with us. Um, in the RX Men team, Alessandro Zanet, Wes Peter, Hunter Robbins, Gibbons. We get we get basically like it goes all the way through. So RX Women's team one. Yeah, <clears throat> and then RX Women, uh, Rachel Klausing. Yep. These are all Mayhem athletes. So, and that's down into. Uh, the 35 to 39s, 40 to 44, 60 plus, adaptive. We had first place uh, seated adaptive, Andrea Wilson. That's cool. Mayhem athlete. So, super cool. Um, where'd you finish? Ninth. How was your time? Ninth. Um, pretty horrible, <laughs> honestly. <laughs> it's the worst run event in CrossFit. <laughs> It's always the worst run of, it's always the worst run event in CrossFit. The logistics it was are usually not great. It was the worse programming than is usually suspect. Subpar. <laughs> suspect. <laughs> Subpar. It's just at the at different best. venues, man. It's such there's so so much potential there. So I, I won't even say like who the, said it. The atmosphere and all that is incredible. Second, unless it's usually pouring rain, unless it's pouring rain. And I think all the homeless a, people. Yeah, I think, I think, I think fans stuff. would have a completely different experience. Than I did athletes. last year. I I was a fan. And I had a completely different experience. Other than other than when it rains, Meaning being a fan, it's awesome. Being a fan, it, yeah. it's awesome. Because like I just th- there's a rain booth, and I was crushing like three or four rains a day, <laughs> and an acai bowl for <laughs> breakfast, acai bowl for lunch. Weather's great. Burrito for dinner. Like I'm just doing nothing. There's like. There's like a bunch of stuff to do, but people to talk to, and like you got nothing going on. Um, just wandering around, like watching these guys suffer every couple hours and not having to do that. Lots of brands, lots of activations, lots of, yeah, like, you know, everybody's got activities going on. going on. Yeah. Well, lots of stuff going on. It's great from a spectator's point of good view. Good medical support if you're drinking three rains a day and, and you have like really a really good like medical a, support. Yeah. Some sort Cam. of something going yeah, on with Cam, your heart. Josh there, yeah. Hicks, really good medical yeah. support. Um, a great time to be a spectator. Horrible time for an athlete. Um, like, well, I mean, this is, this would, this starts it off pretty, pretty strong. So it was an offsite 5k that you had to find your own way to get there. None of the Uber drivers speak English. That has nothing to do with Wadapalooza. None of the Uber drivers speak English. So you can't, and, and it wouldn't take you, of course, it's in like the, it's in like this park. So Nobody the address the takes park. you to this huge park. And, you know, now I can't communicate with him. Like, Hey, you gotta follow these signs. And he's like, what signs? So anyways, getting there was okay. We got there fine. And we run Sounds the race. Like we run the race, and I, I brought, I brought an extra water bottle, and like my shaker was full, half full of water, and um, it's eighty five degrees. So I drink it as soon as I'm there. Uh, as soon as we get there, because we got there early to like register. <laughs> to register, you have to wait in this line that looks like it's you're at Disney World, and so I'm waiting in the line. We get to the front, and they go, "Well, do you have your numbers?" We're like, "What do you mean our numbers?" And so, anyways, we get on the app and we find the number, and their sheet has our number on it. They're making us look on the phone and they have it in front of them. I'm like, we just scrambled looking for this, you know, and there's no service. Sorry, there's no service. So we're scrambling or we had to use someone else's phone to find it. And then the numbers are right there. I'm like, why can't I just tell you my name? I have a, I have a thing. I have the badge. Why can't I just tell you my name? And I get my, and my car, like it's, it's a running chip. Anyways. So all the porta potties, no toilet paper. Sam's has the nervous shits and he can't go in any of them. Like he's like having to pick certain ones that he can actually go to the bathroom in. Uh, and he's went, how many times do you go, Scott? Five or I six? I think four, yeah, four or five times. <laughs> <laughs> and so he's having to find a different one every time because he's using no toilet paper. That's probably why there's no toilet paper because <laughs> of him. And then, uh, so we run the, we run the five. Hang on, hang on. I need to intervene because it, they had a, they had a, a time they were supposed to take off, right? So Angelo's team was supposed to leave at 9, 12, this, let's say. Hang on, this part, I like this part. Okay, well, I hate it. What is it? What was <laughs> so it? I'm getting yeah. there. So they're supposed to take off at, let's say, 9, 12. Mm-hmm. Bailey's yep. team's supposed to go at 9, 14, whatever. They have assigned times. Well, they tell the athletes, hey, whenever you're ready, just go go ahead and run. And maybe so, maybe yeah. that's great for you guys. Is it you guys that stay together or? No. No. You just run just it. You just run it. But, yeah. time. but then that's they were all supposed to start within four or five minutes, our team's. Then they can do whatever they want, and you know Bailey and Paige. Oh yeah, they're, they're gonna, gonna they're gonna yesterday. Yeah, I'm surprised they didn't start in the afternoon with the <laughs> RX division. So then they're all separated by 40 minutes because it was a choose your own adventure when <laughs> oh, they had so actual waiting, call times. Hanging out, waiting for someone to. Oh, it was the go. worst. I I had a uh, timer on my phone, and I had to hit lap every time so I could try to track when all you jackasses took off. <laughs> We, but it, it ended up working out good for us because they told us that. And then we're like, sweet. So let's just, it was like eight 30. So we just started warming up 
And uh, then we we got uh, got together with Roman and Jorge and Saxon. We're like, hey, do you guys want to take off together? We kind of have a group to run together. Make sure we're running hard enough. Because if you're running just like, like obviously me and Sam could kind of race each other, but there's no there's nothing at stake. So like, um, we all ran together, and Roman is just so good on a trail, and he kind of ran off from us a little bit. And then um, Saxon was ahead of me. Me and Jorge and Sam really hung together a lot, and um, I caught up to Saxon a little bit at the end. Hor- uh, Roman did great and probably had the fastest time if I had to had to guess. Um, my feet were so sore from it. It was cool. It was cool. Like it was in the shade. Um, so the mountain bike was, trail they said. Yeah, like it was just like Cane Creek, but obviously no elevation change. Yeah. Um, there was one part where it's like this. Stuff. Yeah, a bunch of roots, and there was like a this hard drop off, and we're running a tight pack. So Woo. Roman goes whoa, and he like jumps over, and I'm like oh crap, it's like right there. Um, we finish it. And obviously, we ran a 5K, hard 5K in the middle of Miami, as hard as you can go. We finish it. And, you know, everyone's collapsing at the finish line, and so I go, I go over to the athlete area, and I'm like, "Hey, can I get a bottle of water?" They go, "We don't have any water. Uh, we'll, we'll have some here soon." And Sam grabs one bottle of water for our team, and so we're all just like rationing this bottle of water, and we're seeing all the other teams finishing. Luckily, we finished in time to get that bottle of water because people are going over there like, "We don't have any. I'm sorry, you know, it won't be here." And I go, can we leave? Like, do we have to stay here for any, for anything? And they and they're like, well, yeah, you can leave. And I'm like, I ain't waiting for your water. I'm gonna get out of here. You know, who knows when it's gonna be there if if it shows up at all. So it never we, showed up for the record. It didn't show up. Yeah, <laughs> no, of we were there till the end. <laughs> so uh, I'm like, Sam, let's just get our crap and leave. So we can't call the Uber. Ubers are like denying um, rides. rides there because they can't find it. <laughs> and so so they we finally get one. We put it on the other side of the park. So we had to. We were like hiking like a mile through the park with our bags and stuff and, you know we're still messed up it's only 15 minutes after we just did this 5k and I think Sean had the flu and I'm pretty sure he gave me the flu or whatever because that night Friday night I went to sleep and I had a fever and then I woke up the next morning I couldn't I couldn't eat anything my the stomach Miami was every time we go somebody gets <laughs> yeah. something in Miami I had a fever it's I just this fe- time of year too yeah, yeah hot, exactly cold, hot cold I had a fever all like the uh, COVID year definitely like we, we came back super spreader like <laughs> the COVID year for sure you had COVID two years ago when we did it I feel like I get COVID every year about yeah. this time <laughs> yeah um yeah, so we hike, we hike through. Me and Sam start feeding a raccoon, and then finally I get a hold of <laughs> Wait, what? Nice. Finally I get a hold of this Uber driver because Madison had to call it for me because there there's no service and they're denying requests in that area. So and I'm getting on the phone with them, no English. So we're arguing on the phone. You know, neither of us speak a, a, a language that we understand. Finally. <laughs> <laughs> finally it. It. finally we get we get it to the same spot and he picks us up and he's like oh it was taking me here take you know whatever and i don't know what he's saying really <laughs> i don't know what he's saying and so we get back finally that total mess complete mess and um one of the guys i was talking to one of the crossfit uh guys he was like um not a guy with the event but one of the you guys would know him <laughs> um I'm like, is there any point for us to do, or who asked, did you ask, Ben asked, if there's any point for us to do an off-site 5K? He goes, no, I don't think so. He's like, it's cool for people who don't compete that much, and, like, they get to go off-site, like, especially people who don't go to the games. It's cool that they get to go off-site, but for, like, the elite athletes, this whole competition, it really is a a spectacle for the spectators and everyone, and, like, no one can watch it. Like, you can't even go there to watch it. So why the heck are we doing it when you could just run one near the venue? I've done that. I've ran a 5K uh, at Wadapalooza just close to the venue, and people can line up like a road race. They can line up next to you and kind of watch you run through. Not only could they not watch it, they were specifically not allowed to watch yeah, it. They were not allowed to. Nice. Um, well, that was the first event. The second so hold, event, on, hold on, hold on. Let's just, 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 there, right? just, oh, take, yeah, was, take, just take a minute to breathe. Hold on. Let's just, <laughs> let's just pause. Let's, let's <laughs> <laughs> was so the weather good that day? It was just hot? Oh, it was Friday, good. the weather was nice. <laughs> that's, what, that's what Saturday, right? We started Saturday. Oh, yeah, Saturday. Saturday was good. In Until, the morning, in the morning. Oh, yeah, in the morning. Yeah. So that sounds oh, like it was, it, was a, it was a bit over, overly ambitious for them. I yeah. think that, like, you can't blame them for Sam having to poop. No, definitely um, not. But poop. not having toilet paper, you can. Well, I don't know. Was that like a public works thing, or was no? That they had a bunch of porta potties they had brought there. Oh, okay. but still, you should. It just. Have. I think the only thing that I could complain about is that they didn't have any form of shuttles. I get that there's so many athletes. Don't do an offsite you, event. But that's also yeah. exactly. Don't do an offsite event if it, if you can't if you can't help people get there. 
um, and the water thing. Those are the two things that I would like not having water there. Are you bad, kidding me? Almost like a safety thing. Yeah. yeah. Not. And then <laughs> Sam said, that, and then they have like those liquid death cans on site. He's like, we go from having no water to having some like five dollar can of water. You know, it's like he's. It's cool, but like, where's the middle ground? Buy it. Buy just, it? No, you don't oh, have to buy it. No, no, okay. no, you don't have to buy it. But like, just like, dude, just a. I mean, even a pack of room temperature water walmart back of waters like something dude i mean we just ran a 5k people are like collapsing and stuff everyone just broken ankles everywhere <laughs> everyone's smashed logan ewing R. yeah R. oh yeah logan hurt himself huh <clears throat> so i mean so many people are like you see you see like every time you turn around there's someone crutching around in the athlete area because they they rolled their ankle broke their ankle sprained their ankle <laughs> there were people coming across the finish line and this happens, this isn't like a Wadapalooza thing. This happens at every run. It always yeah. disgusts me. They come across the finish line, they puke right there. Oh, and I'm like, <laughs> some other guy's going to run right through that, and they he's did, probably going to They puke. disgust me. <laughs> I saw. I watched three people puke while I was waiting at the finish line oh, to film. Nice. All Good, in the and that same was rolling around general. on the ground, too. Yeah. I like that, though, man. You, you, you want to walk through puke, like, get there first. It's true. You Sell know? your soul. That's true. winner. <laughs> Um, All right, I'm intrigued on the rest of the weekend since it started off so good. <laughs> can it, can it, can Rory's like trying to temper it all of it. And I'm like, I'm no, just no, like, I'm trying it. to contest because I've been it. here. Like, yeah. uh, like I said, from emotions a, were really high, and I'm Sunday. not like this isn't. Yeah. A, I guess it isn't. It's gonna come out as a knock at Waterpalooza as a an environment, as um, a spectator, depending on if they don't oversell. Oh yeah, there's that a venue. It's an incredible, or it could. It has so much in potential to be incredible. Yeah. But from an athlete side, every year, what do I say, Scott? Every single year. I'm never coming back. I don't know what you say. I'm never coming back. Oh, every yeah. year. I'm not going back. There's no way. I won't. Well, so and so <laughs> that's the hard part is, and, and the fix is, and I don't know if this is like, have somebody consider the venues that you're doing workouts in when you program. They don't take that into account. No. Like, I'm sorry. Like, year after year, they've shown. Like, two years ago, we did, sh like, in an in-person competition – Shuttle runs. Remember we did that last year, that gymnastics thing with the, 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 the 42 pistols, pistols on one leg. <laughs> 42 handstands and 42 chest to bar for two rounds. Like, and then shuttle run. Come on. So it's just, and then the year where we had the 275 pound barbells that were touching each other next to you. Like, it's just things like that. Like I get that you're trying to get people in and, and all this, but it just, it just every year, sure. every event something in every event is yes. just Fair I enough. don't want to skip and so ahead then, Angelo but speaking of the venues what did you what did you cuz from my perspective it seemed like a bad place to have it but I want to know what you would think the sandbag event where you had to run back and forth at full speed with What's well, like Tasia when Tasia when we won that event on a team in 2020 or whatever it was with Panchik Tasia could have been decapitated by the um bleachers because she had to sprint to touch the button and then there was just like uh, bleachers right a there. A foot and a half before you run into the bleacher. Like well, you know the Tina Hill stage. Yeah. What did did you think? And you then were yeah, too let's deadlift the with metal plates. With the sand oh yeah, what's like because it's cool. Because it's cool on Tina Hills. Um. And clipping barbells. I'll, I, I'll, well, I'll go. I'll go in order, Scott. I'll get okay, there. Okay. Okay. Sorry. There. <clears throat> so let's go in order. But then let me just one more one more to set the stage. Then I'm, what I'm curious about is, okay, so if that's what you say every year, then then why do you like what, what's, the, your, what's the, your expectation? To because the the for you, it, okay. it was like, hey, this is cool. You know, like, yeah. it's a cool one. It's a cool video series we can make that a lot of people watch. Yeah. Two, it's like the atmosphere. The like, a lot of people the, can get the there community. Too. On the to the like, season kind it's of. Yeah. On ramp. Well, I don't even look at it as like you can't no, put any stake put in who, in. you know, the no. event, like who wins or anything like that, because in the team side, because yeah. it doesn't matter. Like the events are not great team workouts. They're it's a it, it's an opportunity to get together with your buddies yep. like like you said you do the the French coast or you did it and you, Fresh and coast. you it was French awesome. coast and you like doing it it was awesome um it's the same kind of idea it's a little higher stakes just because you're there with more high level athletes like that's yeah. you're and like you 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 see all the high level athletes like form weird teams like even Bailey Page and Brooklyn that's not that weird of a team but it's just like those are three people who don't compete on a team together and it's like it's an opportunity for me well I mean us and Royce obviously Royce is from halfway across the world so it's an opportunity for us to get together you don't have that three person team a lot three person I think three person mm -hmm. same sex teams are usually some of the most fun competitions the future I mean the future the in past experience like I said the atmosphere is incredible and just every year as an at from an athlete so I'm strictly from an athlete side, athlete side. From, me, this is just me. I've had a miserable time every time that I've gone. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Uh, and I like I have didn't I, matter team, 
of men, you know, like single sex yeah. teams or when we had four person teams, all of it was just a nightmare. Like yeah. on paper, it sounds really fun. That's yep. what I was saying, yep. basically. Um, and yeah, but, but you guys don't you, like for you. So I've got read like for yeah. you, you don't put stock in the performance like leading into the year. You're not necessarily going for a payday. You're just like you're going because it sounds unique and fun. Uh, yeah. Well, I went. 90% of the reason I went was because Madison likes to take a vacation in the middle of, uh, middle of winter. It's Miami, so she likes to go down there. We've went the last few years, and she likes it. <laughs> um, so I was going to do it because I know she does. And, uh, yeah, that's mostly the reason why I went. I thought maybe she would like to go. And then um, we had an invite, uh, which I don't understand the point of the invite because we, oh, yeah, we get to miss the qualifier because we still had to pay the registration fee, which is more than the games, twice as much as the games, per, actually. So so a lot of what happened this weekend, too, was weather. Like, some of that is outside of Well, it has nothing to control. do with, yeah, yeah. No, no, some of it is in their control. Well, it's, well I'm saying, like, they, yeah. you can go into the programming, the weather, yeah. but, yeah. The weather is out of their control. The I, way the, you handle from the From what I've heard, and I've control. not talked to anybody, I've talked to a few athletes, <laughs> and the problem was the fact that they would change things, and then they would try to change it back, and then they change it again back to what it was previous, and then it would just like they keep flip flopping. Like, snap, snap, to... snap, snap, you know, like. <clears throat> so and the weather stuff seems virtually impossible. Vir- like, virtually boom. impossible, but if you're going to make a switch, yeah, stick, stick with, with the it. switch and make a good switch. <laughs> you know, uh, you ready for me to keep going? Or yeah, you have carry, any on. Other carry on. To... Carry on. Rory's <laughs> trying to make this peaceful. So <laughs> event no, it's two. not. It's just, just like kidding. it's obvious. It's very like you know. Yeah, go ahead. Event go two ahead. was the swim, burpees, and clean and jerks. Really hard workout. Uh, it was a, that was a really fun workout. Um, I heard Roman wanted to go touch and go in the clean and jerks. Did you hear about that? No, I didn't hear about that. Jorge, but Jorge said Roman wanted to go touch and go. <laughs> and uh, Jorge, I guess, used the disclaimer. He goes, all right. He goes, we're not going touch and go. He's like, why would we no go touch and go? He said, uh, well, because <laughs> he goes, how many times has Rich won the CrossFit games? He goes, a lot. He goes, Rich has never done yeah. touch and go. He goes, yep. okay, okay. <laughs> and I can just hear him saying they that. Won they the won event. that event. Do what? They won that yeah. event. Did they? Yeah. Justin's team. Uh, not to call them out, but they did. T- they did sets. Of, they got second in the event, so they did good. Yeah. But they did sets of five the whole time. That's impressive. It's, inc- I, it's, it's just crazy. Such, it's just not that much faster. For no. Like it feels like it's so. Because I yeah. would look over at them and they're like standing around for a long time. And I'm like, dude, why are they standing around? And then I heard that they're doing touch and go because I saw them doing it in the back, and I go, yeah. that's why they're standing around because they do five and they stand around for twenty seconds. Yeah. They do five. So we didn't do any touch and go. No. Um. I think so. When we were briefed on it, we were told it would be a three or four hundred meter swim, and we're all looking at you. And Royce is like, 24 minute cap. We're all swimming four hundred. We ain't finishing this." Yeah. And because uh, we we're thinking, you swim a twelve hundred in open water, that's twenty minutes if you're good. I was gonna say, yeah. right? I mean, if that's yeah. good, because uh, like we swim, we swim Bob's thousand eighteen. Yeah. It's like what you and I would get, like seventeen or eighteen, something like that. So if you can swim in twenty minutes, that's good. And you're talking, well, sorry, sorry. Yeah, 1,200, four, yeah. four, four. Yeah. So um, if you're all really good swimmers, you're not finishing this. It was 400 feet, not 400 meters. <laughs> <laughs> it was 150 oh, meters. Oh, that's awesome. It was like 150 meters. It was 400 feet. So um, What a pleasant surprise, though. No, it wasn't. No, and really? It's just no. the opposite? Because the swim is pointless. Because the swim is pointless <laughs> because you get back and your guys are still burping. So we sent me first because we thought. It was a 400. <laughs> Yeah, we thought it was going to be really far, and um, for several reasons, like those guys. Oh yeah, we sent me first because we thought if it's really far, you send Sam first. Well, this is we we started to think that um, we were going to go me, then, then Sam, and then Royce because we thought if it is that far, then we're we need to get me and Sam need to be on that last set of burpees Mm because we're not going to finish it. Right. Me and Sam just hammer out thirty burpees and we get farther. Royce can do whatever he wants in the water. That was our reasoning. Um, but I get back and they have like 10 burpees left. So like my swim's completely pointless, pointless which was good. Cause I think I went to the front of the worm and, um, and kind of set the, I think so. And then I was like setting the pace a little bit or the back of the worm, whatever. And, uh, those guys were messed up. Anyways, the, the workout went really well. Um, we just didn't do super, super great in it. Uh, Royce was saying he f- still felt kind of jet lagged and not in his, not the best, um, Granted, he's a huge guy. He did 100 burpees, and he swam. Like, this is not an event yeah. for Royce. <laughs> and, that uh, sounds like a cool event. It was Minus good, the, like... 65 worm clean and jerks. Yeah. But it was... What? 65 okay, worm mind. clean that and jerks. That sounded like a fun clean and <laughs> clean workout. Or uh, fun workout. And I, I, I hated to say it to those guys. They were crushed. Yeah. I had it the easiest because I got to split the 30 and the set of 20. It was 30, 20, 10, 5. 
I spit, split my 30 and 20 with a 150 meter swim. And I went hard on the swim, but still, it swims yeah. is swim. They can catch split it up with 50 burpees. So the two big sets, they did 50 burpees. And then I was going with Sam on the next set, and he was crushed. And by the time me and Royce were doing the third set, he was like, dead <laughs> he's like he said he was writing his retirement speech the whole set of burpees. <laughs> he's like i just don't have it anymore <laughs> he's he was dead um but that one was i mean it went it went good for us um we were we were happy everyone was happy with their effort i think royce is a little upset that he burpees slow but he he had a, he had a hard version of that workout hard leg. um event three is when it started to rain that evening that was saturday evening uh they, they t- talked about using the contingency condin- Contingency. Conden- contingency <laughs> workout. They talk about that, that workout. What's the contingency the weather, workout? It was, so it was going to be, it was wall walks, strict handstand push-ups, regular handstand push-ups, and then barbell, deadlift, hand clean, front squat. It was going to change to be hand, strict handstand, regular handstand, so cut out the wall walks so you're not walking through the water. Yep. And then um, take out the hand cleans, which is fine, I guess. They were, maybe you would slip off the bar. I just think that... Um, I think the hand would have been fine. You would have got, went a little slower yeah. because you could your grip would get more tired. The chalk was going to do nothing. It was going to be just deadlift front squats, no hand cleans, a little extra reps for both. Um, they had started. They talked about it kind of like, ah, should we do it? I don't know. And then the first – on the schedule, like the first heat of men started. So once they did it, we had to do that version. Rain picked up even worse right before we went out there. And those guys were like, dude, it's dangerous out there. Now, granted, the – you see how these rigs are really close. The the it's um, the competition rigs. Th- yeah, no, 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 no. no. <laughs> it's it's thinner. The thickness of these is thin. It was exactly seventy two inches. Right? Is that six foot? Yeah, seventy two inches, six foot. That's pretty short. I mean, think about. There's several guys who are over six foot. So there's like guys from from upright to upright is seventy two inches. Yeah. Or 70 inches. It's not far. <laughs> it's yeah. really short. So there's guys who are doing their wall walks with their head to the side. They would walk up and oh. put their head in. And you're going to a plexiglass wall on a Dahmer mat. And Royce is like, hey, when we get out there, throw our shirts on the ground. We'll do our wall walks on the shirts. And it'll keep it dry. And you can move them around a little bit. I watched this happen. No go. We go put our shirts out there. No judge. And the, 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 the head, head judge, judge walks by and he Flings them. He kicked it. He kicked oh, them away. What a prick. And I'm like, what the? And that Royce, sucks. I go, Royce, don't kick up in the handstand right away because he has to hold a handstand while I do it. I go, I'm going to fix the shirts and then we'll go. I throw the shirts back and the judge is like, no shirts, no shirts. And so I move the shirts. And oh, when no. I'm telling you, it was the most See, that's treacherous. The <laughs> oh my god your feet are wet up on the up on the plexiglass so you're coming down the wall at like so oh my mm-hmm. gosh and you there's no line there's no tape line to touch on the way down so you just touch tape line on the way up and then you can come down however you want oh, no. and i don't know how to come down however i want so i just walk down like a normal wall walk because i don't i don't have slide the, out yeah you didn't break any fingers on the oh my gosh i do a set of three it was me and royce are gonna do five 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 I do three. It took me so long. I'm like, Royce, we have to switch. And I kick up the handstand to hold for him. And I don't, I'm not hearing anything. I'm not hearing anything going on. And so I, I, I'm, like, I'm like trying to look, and Sam's like, he's going, he's going. And I hear four. I was like, what? I've been in a handstand for 30 seconds. He just did one, and he had failed twice. He said he climbed up and slid off to the side. <laughs> and uh, oh, I get no. over to do it again, and... I and that's am, all lane dependent too, where the water yeah, pools like yeah. that's such. And and I didn't bring. Uh, I did think I did bring a towel, but I didn't bring it over there because I had all those shirts, and we were going to use the shirts and w- wipe it up. What was the towel going to do? They're going to kick it too. What no, I, true, exactly. Like, cause yeah, Rose is thinking like how you put your put the towel under your head. Just walk up and be like, hey guys, you can't use the shirts. Yeah, that, that's uh, what gets he, me. He just he just I, kicked <laughs> them and we walked by. Did I texted. He kick him? I thought he I thought he moved with his. No, hand. he kicked them. I saw him do it. <laughs> But I texted Ben, you guys were already crowded. I said, tell them to bring as many towels as possible because yeah. the, the, so one guy is kicked up in a handstand, one guy's working, mm-hmm. and then there's a, a random teammate doing nothing. Stand around. The, there was a team in the heat before, you know, in curling, the guy with the, yeah. the guy with the, he was doing he just, that with a towel. Yeah. So as the guy walked, yeah. he was rub, like yeah. drying down his next step. And it's just the, like the, 
like that. Yeah, it was smart. I like that. Dude. It's that they let some people get away with it and others not is what sucks. Well, I think we could have done that, but I don't know what the reason was why we couldn't walk on the shirts. Like, there's no way it's going to make it more dangerous. No. And, um, uh, yeah, so, anyways, I do one wall walk, and it's like, dude, there's a force field around that line because I try to take a step with this hand, and this hand slides, and I miss the line. Same thing over here. I slides, and I miss the line. <laughs> And now I'm like, I've been in a handstand for like 45 seconds trying to do this because I got up there and I'm taking, you know, baby steps to get there anyways. I finally touch it and I just slide out of it. And my shoulder is so spent, I slide out of it and I just slide and smash my head on the rig. Ooh. <laughs> multiple times. It happened multiple times because I'm coming down so fast and, and that you, rig's uh, so now, short. Now I get what you're saying. I thought you were talking about like a crossways, but you're talking no, about like you were yeah, that way. You're, inside you're, of it. Oh, like, I'm 5'10", yeah. and it's like everything I, I mean, I have this much room in between the upright, and so I keep hitting my head on the upright right in the middle of my head because I'm sliding out of it and just jamming it. Uh, Sounds like other a lawsuit than, to I me. I can't <laughs> even think of, like, how Royce would fit in there. Uh, he's Well, he was doing off the side, and he was walking <laughs> into the side, and to kick him to a handstand, he had to, like, do a cartwheel into it because he, and he, like, cause he would kick other, other lanes, oh. and, and then... I can just feel this in water pollution. Like I just, I can like, <laughs> I I'm on the floor right now, looking up in the crowd, like just What's finding a on? person <laughs> and just shaking yeah. my head right now. Because there's this plexiglass, and then there's just a small one right here, um, you know, yeah. six feet away that your that your feet heels are against. So you can't just kick up into it. You and there's like another person it. there. They have to be in a handstand before you kick up. So you can't kick up there. You have to kick up to the side. I know Christoph Horvath was there. He's like six four, yeah. and he was literally was like his shoulder a, touching it almost. He was like this. They, I didn't get to see their heat, but he was off to the side. You told me all I need to know about and do a couple this weekend, yeah. and then get up. Uh, after that, Sam, we're doing double unders, and he's like we're doing synchro dubs and he's laughing i mean just like multiple times he's like busting out laughing i'm like what are you laughing and i asked him afterwards he goes i'm laughing at the fact oh, that the you old just... synchro dub <laughs> he goes i'm laughing at the fact that like a few times uh because i guess i looked at him and i go i can't do anything i cannot do anything because they, they're like can you do some handstands can you hold i go i need to rest i can't do anything because i've been in a handstand for most of this event so oh, far my so shoulders good. are smashed uh like what did uh what, what was the part? Oh yeah, because Royce is like, hey, can you do some can you do some handstands? Get in there and do some handstands. I go, Royce, I can't. And he's like, just just try. And it took me probably thirty seconds. I got five. I mean, I was at failure. Oh, I was no. totally at failure because I couldn't do. I was doing strict and I was sliding. I did wall walks. Each oh, wall walk geez. is thirty second wall walk. So yeah, that the rain that was nuts. They needed to do the contingency workout. I don't even know that that would have helped. Uh, yeah, it would have because you wouldn't have done wall walk, so I wouldn't have smashed my head on the rig. Um, dude, that was a mess. Uh, barbell was fine. So that's day one. <laughs> that's day one. I already day one, quit. Day, day two, did it get any better or worse? Day two, the morning of day two was the sandbag one that he was talking about. Um, it was fine. It wasn't that great of an event. Like, it was sandbag carry, 975, sandbag squat, sandbag cleans. We th- and then sandbag carry again. We thought it was going to be... Yeah, everything relay. So, like, sandbag carry, 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 999777. We thought it was going to be, we all carry, then I do 975, you do 975. I was like, that's some fitness. That'd be hard. But, no, it's just sprint and transition. Sprints. Was there, uh, my question was on that one, because I wasn't up there, did you feel like. Dangerous running off. Yeah, like you were holding a 150-pound sandbag, and you're sprinting at the edge of a stage. Yeah. it's To me, it felt like someone was going to fall onto me, but for your perspective, maybe it was fine. It wasn't. It didn't really feel that dangerous, probably because it was such a sprint event. I couldn't even think about it. Was it dry this day? It was dry. It was dry. Um, I remember. That was a beef one year for you. (laughs) Yeah. Cutting on wet. They wanted to do shuttle runs. Yeah. or whatever yeah. it was. I think I it was shuttle runs, was. yeah. With 150 pounds. With a, no, I don't no. think it was. It was a it was carry. Just, it was a carry, but they had shuttle runs yeah. in there. And you're like, shuttle runs. Like, hey, cool. In the open, in online competitions, when you, you, gotta, have, to when do you it, have to do, do it. it, you got to do it. Um, I don't love it, and I don't love a mile of them. I <laughs> went on <laughs> went on <laughs> record saying I don't hate the fact that every once in a while we ha- need to do shuttle runs to test some running. I just hate the f- fact of, like, in an in-person competition, find something else or put up. We have a lot of machines you could do. Yeah. Yeah. yeah do something different. Anyway. Run through run through the venue. It'd be kind of cool because you have that big loop around Bayside. Yeah. You could run yeah. through the venue and come back to Flagler and right. it'd be like, so you could do it. You could do so many other things. Uh, no, I didn't feel dangerous about that part. I just didn't love the workout. 
Yeah. I didn't love the workout. What was I was I had one more thing to say on it. Oh, you couldn't touch and go, which was good. No, like, I like that. I hate the touch and go. I mean, I think such every a gray single area with yeah, like, is it every up? single person could have touched. Oh, this is what it was. <laughs> so we're lining was up. It to the get D ball or the sandbag? Sandbag. Okay, sandbag. good. Right. We were getting corralled. I'm good. <laughs> and and uh, we all knew it was one line. You know, it was you're two feet over this line, one foot over that line. Then you have to cross this to hand the bag off. The guy goes. The guy was briefing us. He goes, "All right, so what's the rule in most events when uh when you have a line to cross?" He goes, everyone give me two fingers, two fingers. And we're all kind of, me and, I, me and Chandler actually look at each other. And we're like, so everyone, he goes, I want to see everyone give me two fingers. Two feet over the line, right? Two feet over the line. We're like, we were briefed differently. He goes, hang on, hang on. We were two feet over the line. That's usually, that's usually it, right? Yeah. He goes, get that in your head. He said this. He goes, make sure you get that in your head. Two feet over the line. We're like, okay. He goes, this time it's one foot. We're like, why would you why even would say you, that? <laughs> what was the point of that exercise? Because we all knew it was one foot. Every single person in the room knew it was going to be one foot. He kept going, two feet. I need to see everyone two feet in the air. We were like, two, two fingers. <laughs> and he goes, this time it's one. <laughs> like, <laughs> what? Why did you do that? Hmm. Uh, it was just like, dude, what was that? Uh, <laughs> that event was fine. Like, uh, it wasn't our best event. Like, um, I just, I just think we had uh, – I think the squatting in front was quicker. Really? The guy squatted in front. I'm like, dude, you're going to blow your back up. You're not going to blow your back up in that workout. Not 975. If you were going to do 975 altogether maybe. Yeah. But um, a lot of the people were squatting a lot faster. And I think you can get away with just a little bit more with it in front. Like, is your hip open? I don't know. You're kind of standing up. The bag's in front. I can't tell. Yeah. Um, I think that was a strategy that we didn't do that, and I think it would have been better if we did. Um, then the next event, it started to rain. And they changed the workout. The strict pull-ups, right? No, no, no. This isn't that workout yet. It's the, the echo bike workout. They changed the workouts for the girls. Uh, so Bailey and Paige, they come back and they get, they get some other whatever. I don't know. They change it. It's lunges and uh, shoulder overhead now. They come back. They say, we're changing the workout. And they weren't, um, I don't know how they found out. Um, oh, they were probably corralled. They were corralled and they got called back to, to get different stuff. And then they went and did that workout. And they tell us, they go, okay, you're going to do that workout because it's still raining. It stopped raining. They said, okay, we changed it back to the original. And I'm getting this from, uh, from Hopper because that one of their coaches is down there. Basically, their coaches are communicating with each other. He's standing by, that, the, by the, the lineup tent. This other coach is up here telling them what he's hearing because we're not getting no, – no one else is getting it. Well, they brought the boxes back out. It was supposed to be box stepovers yeah. with kettlebells in your hands, but yep. it was rainy. So they removed the boxes from the floor for the women. But then the rain died down, and they brought the boxes back out for the men. But then it started raining again, and that's when they— It started raining again, and they changed it back. And then get this. It stopped raining. They changed it back. And then it started raining again, and they changed it back. And so that's, that's dead serious. Like within, dead serious. Within so 20 like some, minutes. But every division would have done the same workout. No, 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 no. There weren't some— there Some divisions some would have done the scaled version, the, the rain version. Some <laughs> divisions were going to do— if, if at least the whole division would a do, whole division yeah. would do the same workout. No, even but within elite, they just were going to have the it. women were going to the women already did the workout, but then they were going to have the men do the original version. That's yeah, still fine that's for me, saying. but yeah, like yeah. as long as it wasn't like half of the women's oh, field no, no, did no. this. Yeah. I know, yeah. but just make yeah. a decision and stick yeah. with it. Yeah, from a spectator's point, this is what yeah. the whole event is about. The spectators. Yeah, exactly. So, uh, yeah, they changed it to the rain event for the women. Changed it back to the regular event for us. Changed it to the rain event for us change it back to the regular and right before we're walking down they change it back to the rain event and then we get down there and um like so i warmed have, up for a different event we've warmed up for so many different events and i have like you know hey we, ready for anything i got yeah exactly i got grips i got a belt i got knee sleeves i got all this different gear like like uh like the year you guys got sequestered oh, basically yeah. you have all your gear with us we have everything because we don't know what we're doing um and we get down there. That was, yeah, just, like, stick with it. That's the only thing with that. The, 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 it didn't affect the event, really. I don't think it affected the outcome of the event. I just think it affected, really, the spectators more than anyone, the Not confusion of it. Yeah. Yeah. And then even and warming up. I mean, the athletes are warming up. Heat 1 definitely warmed up for snatches and stepovers because that was the last word they got. They went down there, and they were doing lunges and shoulder overhead. There's no way they warmed up both. Um. Yeah, so they should have just stuck with it. I don't know what that was about. Last event. Strict pull-up is not a competition movement. No. It oh is boy. a great training movement. 
It is an incredible accessory movement. It is not a competition movement. Can't be. Go ahead. Sorry. And they proved that pretty much. They proved that. You <laughs> I watched. Can't. I did watch a video of the men doing that the first night. It was playing in the gym. It was atrocious. Yeah. Dude. Atrocious. Dude. Um, that's all I need to know about that event. Yeah, no, 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 th- no, no. That's not even the bad. No, there's that. a good part you need to know about. Oh my gosh, he's this getting, was like this was the icing on the cake for me. He's getting there. So I'm. So like I said, I didn't. I didn't say this to. I didn't even say it to Royce or Sam that I was feeling a little sick because I didn't want to like put it in their head like that maybe they're gonna get sick or something like I or or maybe I'm not gonna perform as well because I'm sick. I just didn't want to say anything because I didn't want them to think about it. I didn't want to think about it. Um. And I, for the most part, it didn't even affect me. I didn't even notice. Like, when I got out there, the adrenaline started going. I felt fine. So, uh, so I'm not going to say anything like, oh, yeah, make an excuse. I'm kind of sick. Who gives a shit. Everyone's sick. Um, and so, I'm, you know, I'm, I'm not feeling the best. I'm, I'm kind of pissed off. That event didn't go well for me just because Sam and Royce are better at those mo- the lunges and echo bike and everything. So I was pissed off about that. And we're hanging out. It's pouring rain. We have all our all our luggage out there because because we have our flight right after the event. So everything I own is wet. Everything that I everything to my name in Miami is wet. Royce lets us go back to his hotel and we hang out in his room for a little while and we're like, "Ah, oh, what do you think? You know, we should head back now. Kind of get there a little early." As we're walking in, we hear them calling. Heat one, heat one. We're heat two, heat one. Last call, lining up now, lining up now. And we're like, "What? We're here an hour and twenty five minutes early." And we go over to the we go over to the desk and we go, hey, what's going on? They go, oh yeah, we're forty five minutes ahead of what you guys had on your schedule and your text. Well, you f- you forgot to they delayed. Did you you didn't say they that. delayed? Yeah, yeah, they so delayed. And they this, sent us it was schedule. scheduled to the point where, uh, for sake of understanding the story, the women <laughs> the women the women were going to go at six, the men were going to go at seven. Let's just say that it's yeah. pretty much what it was. Pretty much. They sent a text. They said we're delaying. So now the women were at seven and the men were at eight. Yep. And then I get it because Bailey was updating me on their heats. Then I get a text from Bailey. It's a screenshot of what was communicated to the athletes. It said, heat one, you crawl in two minutes. Yeah. We've, we've canceled the delay. Heat one, you crawl in two that minutes. That was the next yes. Ben, yes. Ben, ben told and it me. Only, but also, hang on. before it, it only said women's heat. Didn't even say anything about the men's heat that we were right. going to change our times, which obviously yeah. they probably were. Yeah. But it's not. It's. I'm, I just have to guess that you're probably moving us up. Go and ahead. Ben told me the only women's team that warmed up for that event was Bailey, Brooke, and Paige, which you wouldn't be able to tell it because they couldn't figure out how to thrust around the worm, which they <laughs> they said that. Um, but he said they're the only ones that were able to warm up Gosh. because the the heat one only had two minute warning to crowd. Oh my gosh! We, seriously, this, we're getting this there. This is just like. And they're just. They're, I could. I mean, I. It sounds. This is one hundred percent par for the course yeah. every year that I've gone there. Yeah, there. I mean, I hear them say, "Heat one, we're lining up. This is your last call. We're walking right now. We need teams. This, 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 because they're not there. The whole, they're at the, the hotels." <laughs> or hey, I saw him when I was going to the media pit. He was sprinting past yeah. me because he said he was up in his room watching football. Yeah, yeah. and they sent a text so and they we said, doing. "Oh, we canceled the delay." That's what we were doing. We, Which I was thrilled they canceled the delay. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I was too because I got to get the hell out of there quicker. Um, Even though you didn't. Which I didn't, but uh, <laughs> theoretically I could have. <laughs> yeah. So we were, I mean, we're like rushing over there and then we're like talking to someone. We're like, so who, who makes this, who makes this call? And, um, and uh, I use some choice words with these people because I'm no. pissed. Great representation of mayhem. Go for it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, I'm like, so who's in charge of this? And, and they're like, well, I, you know, I, well, they told me and, and, and we were supposed to tell you. And we thought we said that it was moved up. And, and uh, Royce is like trying to argue too. And I go, hey, we just got to go. We have to warm up. Like, I don't like we can deal with these morons later. Like oh, they have, geez. I mean, they have no idea what they're talking about. Use the code, Angelo. <laughs> <laughs> we just have to go. We have to go. And so we get up there and uh, mm-hmm. I see, I see Vellner. He's running. He's got his bag on him. You know, he's, <laughs> he's not warmed up at all either. He's pulling stuff out, getting ready. And uh, we get down to the crowd. And he's like, "Yeah, I got there about the same time, like two minutes warm up. I think we did two sets of five warm thrusters, and then I did like five strict pull ups. They had a little riser, and you just to step on the riser it would like slip out from <laughs> underneath you because it's so wet. And uh, and, yeah, we get out there, we do the event. Get back. <laughs> we get out there and we do the event. And the events was, I mean, the event was fine. Like it was, a, it was a hard event. Um, but yeah, I was like, as soon as it was over, I looked at Sam. I go. Let's get the hell out of here. I'm done with this. Christ, wait a minute, bud. So we, so we, uh, yeah, we, did it. 
we I get saw it. that wire coming out of the ground. Uh, I, was I was like, like no, uh, let's not do that again. Let's not pull this one again. <laughs> uh, we get out of there. Uh, I run back to the run back to the athlete area. Me and Sam change, and uh, and then our night from there had nothing to do with them. It was it was chaos from then on. But you guys fly to Atlanta and drive home. Is that what I heard? Flew to Atlanta and drove home because I was I had work. Did you get home in time for work? Yeah, I did. Nice. Um, I I so I put in for third man vacation just because I was like I don't know and. And with the snow and everything, I thought at least one or two people was gonna were gonna have to call out because they literally wouldn't be able to get to work. And uh, thankfully they didn't. But I got home. I was on 111 by the fire station at 7:50. And uh, you're supposed to check in, right? Oh, dude. And I couldn't. I mean, I could not have went to work. I'm. I got. I oh, went really? Home. Oh, I thought you were supposed to go. No, no, no. I I, I got a few hours. I did get a few hours of sleep. I I uh, I got a few hours of third man vacation, and then. Uh, I went home, took a nap, and went to work, and I was still just messed up because it was like 11.30 when I got there. I was messed up, but I'm better now. I'm better now. Like sick, actual sick, or just tired? <sighs> I mean, I do I, – I don't I – don't, I haven't had a fever since like Saturday or Sunday. It's a little crud. Um, what? Just a little crud. Little, a little, yeah, a little. Yeah. It was weird. I mean, I'm sure <laughs> a, a 5K in 90-degree heat with no water didn't help. Yeah, and then coming so, back to 4 degrees. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, so yeah, so, 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 dude, so much fun. Really thanked, really glad I got to go. Uh, I'll next never year, be back. you in? I'll Imagine Angelo's back. experience, but he only had to deal with it for two days. Yeah, you had to deal oh, with yeah, it for four horrible. days. Well, so yeah. here's here's the thing. Like to 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 wrap it up. Like, do you think that it's a? I don't know what analogy to use. Not a lot of people talk about women in childbirth. We're like, oh, I'll never do it again. But then they kind of get down the road and they do it. No. Is it just that like? You, you, you do keep going back, so like, do you? Or do, you here, think, here. do you think next year somebody's gonna be? Oh, I'll be on this, and it's two buddies, and it sounds like a really good time. Like, you think you're gonna do it again? If if I forget how horrible it is, I want, and I even mentioned that I want to do. I want everyone to hit me in the nuts. I want you to hit me square in the nuts when I say, "Yeah, I think I'll do water pools this." You know, I'll get. I'm in. <laughs> yeah, I'll, yeah, I'll I think that. I'll do. Or just shoot me in the nuts with a broadhead. How about that? <laughs> oh God. <laughs> <laughs> shoot me in the nuts with the, we're dead. shoot me in the nuts with the broadhead if I think about doing it again. I'm never going back. No way. As a spectator? No. I ain't going back. I I'm ain't never, going back. I'm not going to Miami. I'm not gonna go to Miami. I would need some really I would need a lot of money to go to Miami. Ten grand. I might do it for ten grand for a day. I'll go for a day for ten grand. <laughs> Gosh, worst city in the world. Well, now <laughs> Dallas hates us. Miami hates us. Yeah. Why does Dallas? Why does Dallas hate us? Because we hate it on the Cowboys. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. Actually, what America's team? So technically, all of America, I guess. But it's kind of like not America. I know it used to be every, technically, yeah. I guess. I but know. everyone hates the Cowboys. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Well, sorry, it went that way. Way man. to end yeah. the yeah. podcast yeah. Yeah. on a good <laughs> note. I don't know if this is a good note or a bad note about Wadapalooza, but I will say they were increasingly accommodating for towards your credentials, us. you said. Yes, but it, but that being said, it was still ridiculously hard to do our job. Well, let's be honest, too, though. We do a lot of promotion <laughs> for that event with our athletes and YouTube videos, yeah. and you guys do an incredible job of that. So there's that. Yeah. I Like I said, from a spectator, from an atmosphere, they've, they've done a great job there. And, you know, from – with the hard part is they have so many different divisions and so many athletes that – that goes into the programming and the venues and all that. And so my like caveat almost to that is like, I don't know. You know, if it's just, they just try to get a lot of people through there. That's if you think part. here, here, here's a good one. Uh -oh. <laughs> if you, if you're totally against have, uh, taking the masters and teens out of the, out of the CrossFit games and making them a different event, go to Wadapalooza, go to Wadapalooza and then, and try to compete there and then be like, Oh yeah, this is why you need different events because this is chaos. Mm -hmm. well, you don't know where to go, who's competing when. This might be a oh, whole yeah, other, raining too. This is a whole other conversation, I think. But I bet you that that competition makes a good amount of money. Oh yeah, heck yeah, and, so much money. But here's my thing: is if that's what it takes for a competition to make money, if oh, you yeah. can't, because I, I could run a competition I don't in my know, backyard. I don't know about uh, if Rogue makes money or not, but they're only running right two elite men, elite women, mm -hmm. right? The Rogue Invitational. Well, and strong men. Right, but I'm talking the CrossFit side yeah, yeah. because if you're going to take like two perspectives, Wadapalooza is, you know, on the far end Community of this organization. Event, yeah. No, I'm talking about oh. organization. And Rogue is like 10 out of 10 organized, right? And, but I wonder how much of that's to do with how many divisions they're trying to Has run. To be. But yeah. is Wadapalooza making more money because they have all these divisions? Yeah. yeah. Pro oh, definitely. And does a competition need to be total chaos 
and have all these divisions in money. order to make money. I don't know. I don't run competition. It's it, it, it just. I think they probably do make more money, but at what cost? <laughs> at what cost? Scott? At what literal cost? Yeah, literally. At what cost? Oh Ten thousand dollars, accordingly. Ten thousand dollars. Yeah. I will Allegedly. say they did put a, they did put down some decent plywood sheets on the on the the mud, so you did have some plywood to walk on at points. At certain like, points, when the mud like, pile was was deeper than twelve inches, what are they, like a forty dollars a sheet still, yeah. or what are they? <laughs> a lot of money. <laughs> took them and sold them on yeah. the street afterwards. Yeah, there, there were a few plywood sheets you got to walk on. That uh, was sweet, man. Was that after Vendor Village flooded? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was no, 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 no. They put out. It was so deep. They put out some. Uh, they put out um. Uh, Dolomer mats. No, no, no. Uh, <laughs> Gosh, pallets. They put out pallets, so you could you get a little bit of a rise. That was a little cool. Bit. Yeah, yeah. You could you could get up a little bit higher. I only only the only the bottom of my feet got wet. Uh, soaked only soaked through the bottom of my shoes, not all the way up to my ankles. Oh, you're you're the, you're the grumpiest oldest young man that I know <laughs> in, my, Madison, in my entire life. Madison well, said, you're so such a curm- <laughs> you are such a curmudgeon. It's insane. <laughs> Madison it says, is insane. I, uh, and Rory, what is it? it's what's so funny is you have Angelo, who's just grumpy old man, and then you have Rory that's trying to look at the bright side of everything. <laughs> no, well, and I'm just somewhere like I'm here's, like here's ah. why here's why it's also polar opposites. Like I. My competition experience is like BCS yeah. or yeah. like I never have to deal yeah. with that. And so, and I oh, think most yeah. fans are blind to it. It's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know that you like, if, like how much warm up time you need for like, a, yeah. you know, like uh, I need a, a lot cause I'm old, but yeah, yeah. well, but even I'm like Angelo's also I need old a on the inside. There's so. stuff yeah. that you guys will point out sometimes where I'm like, oh yeah, I mean, that makes all the sense in the world, but like I would never think of that. All I think is like, I just want to see you guys out there dancing for me. Yeah. You know, like, dance monkey. Yeah, it's like, bring Poke the em. heat. Poke em. <laughs> I was in my seat at the right time. I don't care how long you had Rory, to warm up. Rory like, loves it because it's just an extra long <laughs> stick at that point. You just yeah. have, it's got a little sharp. Exactly. You know, a bar by the end of it. Yeah, um, this competition would make a lot more money if I had something to poke the athletes mm-hmm. with and I had to pay like Or you could like for. pay like in the Hunger Games to like <laughs> yeah. dump water on Angelo. Yeah. <laughs> dump water on yeah. Or like somebody could sponsor Angelo's lane <laughs> and a drone <laughs> blows over and blows off all the water off of his lane, you know, like how good would that be? Uh, Let's yeah, do that. You can, you can, or there's like the there's the game syrup over games. everyone. Yeah. You can pay for the syrup, pay for the feathers. You can pay for the Or those flower. weird like dog things that show up. They can just oh, start yeah. chasing yes. people on the trail. There <laughs> it is. We really, that would, oh, be, that would be fun. We should make a parody of that <laughs> for really sure. Fun. Uh, oh. Madison says that I live. This is this is my life. She says you're Alexander and the terrible, horrible, no good, very bad day. You ever seen that? It's a movie. <laughs> oh, yeah. yes, I never dude. seen it. She said that's like the, that's how you always react to things. And sometimes I do, but sometimes you, you need the person that's you need the pessimist. You need someone who's looking at this is true. At the this worst. is true. You guys but again, are, like if this you guys was like like the, <clears throat> the Angelo's the devil. And Rory's the angel on that yeah. shoulder. So but like, again, well, like it know, also like if that, that was, if that was always your experience and you went back, it'd yeah. be like me like going to my mother in law's house and thinking it was going to be like, <laughs> whoa, he, yeah, 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 you know. Well, Easy. the thing, the, the year, the year before, I just spectated, I didn't and that was that fun. Trailed off, <laughs> <laughs> and then, uh, and then I'll, I'll change the subject. And then the year before that, we were together, and I thought we had a halfway decent time. Luke messed, up, Luke messed up a couple times, but like, no, it was that like, was ours. Luke had, yeah, yeah Luke no, just I always just come back to the computer. programming with it yeah. for me on those events, but, uh, they, they did that year. They did that. Uh, no, and we got screwed by it. Luke. Um, not, it wasn't Luke's fault by the, was it him stepping over there, like dropping the sandbag or something like that? Dude, Remember, it was just something remember. random. Yeah, that we had a couple. We had, I mean, yeah, we, we had a couple things, but it was, it was not as bad. Last year, my, uh, water oh, blues yeah. experience was very short. Yeah. It was like, cause the, Sam. oh Yeah. Oh no no oh, no! Yeah. And then you stepped on the puzzle piece and you almost tore your ACL oh, and you're squat three fifteen. I went to no snap. I went to jerk uh, three fifteen. Jerk three fifteen. And <laughs> the pu- instead of having like lanes of rubber out, they had puzzle pieces. And one of the puzzle pieces was like this. And I went to split Disconnected. jerk. And oh, it was God. my knee was like half, like the, <laughs> like when I went to hit, it was hit here instead of letting my foot go all the way out. And so it was like and this. It, and it, it broke apart, too, I thought. Something and lost. It was just. And the barbells were right next to each other. And if it you was drop it, yeah, you're going to drop it on someone. Yeah. So great. Great time. Wow. All right. Well, I got to go get a bird out of the house. Anybody want to go help? I got a BB gun. Bird in your house. 237. Yeah. <clears throat> awesome. Yeah. Anyway, anything to promote? Uh, January challenge is wrapping up. I guess it's too late to join, but congratulations to all the guys that are still kicking butt. Congratulations. Congratulations. That the, we've got speech impediments today. I thought I was watching you have a stroke earlier. <laughs> Who was having like, a stroke? Forgot how to say a word. Uh, <laughs> I kept using a D instead of a T. I didn't know. I didn't know what was going on. Uh, the Leadville 
We still don't have details, but the Leadville giveaway. Come ride with us. Yeah, come ride with us. That's going to be January, or sorry, February 1st through the 15th. There's going to be an opportunity for you guys to win one of 10 spots to ride Leadville with Rich. Um, keep your eyes out for that. When we say we're not going to ride Leadville together, probably. Sorry, you, Some you people get to might start, be faster or you slower. To, you get to start Leadville with Rich. Yeah, and yeah. we will have a whole lead up and yeah. a group, and we've already got five or six guys of like who've already done it, and we've already kind of started it and testing like how would communication work with the group and you know sharing workouts and yes. that type of stuff. So it'll be a pretty cool support group, some on-site stuff. Um, we've got some partners on that too, so it'll be fun. Yep. Looking forward to it. It's a fun event once you finish. Yep. Um. Hey, how many people are going to call me, like, such a crybaby? Oh, well. For sure they Who are. Who cares? They're going to say, Waterpolis is the best event, best run event in CrossFit. <clears throat> if somebody says that, they work, they, I they're will getting, fight them. No, they're <laughs> getting paid by Waterpolis. Yeah. <laughs> there, I won't say the name, but there's a prominent athlete that probably everyone listening would know who it is that was running, like, just sprinting through the venue when they delayed, canceled, and put back. It wasn't one of our athletes. That's why I'm not going to call them out. But... They said, this is the worst event. I don't know why I come back here every year, but I'm going to again. <laughs> <laughs> it's, no, yeah, I, it's, it's just belaboring it at the point, but it happens every year. You're like, no, I'm not doing it again. And then you always come yeah, crawling back. Again. No way. Except for next year. Brought it to the I got out of it this it. year, and I do not. I'm not one bit upset about it. I <laughs> wish I was there to, like, hang out with you guys yeah. and, like, that part of it. But other than that, no. Yeah. No, so. I ain't going back. I ain't going back. All right. Well. Let us know how you feel in the comments. Back please. to the snow. Lions, Buccaneers. Let's go, Lions. <laughs> Brand new Lions. Oh, if anybody owns a, a truck dealership, I'm looking for a door. <laughs> oh, we're just going to bondo that thing. Use the code Rich.